So you have the Ultimate Sneaker Expo coming up. Yes, so the Ultimate Sneaker Expo on September 17th in Smithtown, Long Island. Now, this is your thing? You're the founder of this? Yes, I'm, I'm one of the, the founding partners, me and my boy DJ Sherrod. And um, we, uh, we do it once a year. We do it in Long Island so that we can give something to the kids in Long Island that's a little different than having to get on trains and go to the city and risk their lives getting back or risk their lives getting or risk their, their stuff getting stolen or robbed or anything like that. Because it's in Long Island, Long Island comes to the show. So when they come, they get to have fun. The music is banging because we're DJs. Um, we, we put on light shows and we do something special. So like, like if a kid comes and his parents dropping them off, if the parent doesn't want to wait inside the car, the parent can come in for free while his kid goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? His kid's sneaker guy, he's running around with $4,000 trying to find a pair of Yeezy. His mother doesn't have to worry about it because she's in there right there with him because she got him free because it wasn't about her, it was about him. So we're just trying to create a, a fun, safe, uh, sneaker-filled atmosphere. And we try to give the kids something that they, they, just, they just can't get in Long Island. Like, how many people attended last year? Uh, our attendance is usually between 25 and 3,200 kids. Wow. And it's, it's, you know, you go to sneaker shows and you see tables and most kids have, yeah, some Jordans and maybe a couple of pairs of Yeezys. But when you, these shows that we do, the vendors that come have all kinds of stuff. So the, the buying experience is kind of crazy because like I've walked through there going, how much you want for those? You know what I'm saying? Because I see stuff that you just don't see in these regular shows because usually kids are just going to shows for Yeezys and Jordans. But when you come to this show, I guess it's, well, it's a sneaker guy doing the show, so you better come out with your sneakers. Don't just come out with your Yeezys and your Jordans. Come out with your forces, your, 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 your um, your, your Pumas, your, your Asics, your everything. The kids come out with everything. And they're trying to sell everything. And like, what artists do you have performing you know, for you this time? Well, that's, that, that's another thing. I don't believe that artists are, are the star at a sneaker show. To me, you're not going to a sneaker show to stand up there and watch an artist. We have great DJs, like Camilo's DJing, Fat Fingers is DJing, um, Trace is DJing, uh, Juanito's DJing. We have good DJs, but to me, at a sneaker show, if you have a show, you're taken away from the sneakers. To me, the star of every sneaker show is the sneakers. So I might be, you know, respected in the sneaker community. That's cool, but when I go to the show, I'm more hyped for the sneakers than I would be if I was a kid going to the show and seeing me. But I understand why the kids would be hyped to see me. You know, I've, I've done some things in the community. Some kids are there with shoes that I've designed, so they're, I'm autographing. There isn't really too many people in the sneaker community that's transcended both sides. There aren't that many guys who could say, well, I've designed 60 pairs of shoes and I'm going to be at your sneaker show chilling. But it's my sneaker show, so come and bring your heat out so you already know Bring the heat, because Clark will be there. And then I'll show up in a pair of white on whites and feel happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, when you have these types of sneaker expos and you see kids come out, like, what do you think is the difference, you know, with the younger sneakerheads these days versus the old sneakerheads? The real, real hardcore difference is there's no, um, there's no, there's no hunt. There's no more uh, discovery because there's so much information you know about the sneaker for three months beforehand. So let's say three months beforehand, you're hearing about, let's say the breads are coming back out. Now you're out of your mind hype and you waiting for three months and the breads come out and you're online for the breads and you get your breads. Then it's like, so what? It's like, so what? Because you, you already knew that you had the breads before you got them because you felt like you lived with them for three months because you, Heard about it, heard about it, heard about it, heard about it, heard about it. Then when you get them, it's almost like, so? You, you damn near had them already. Back in the days, you didn't, you didn't see the shoe. You walked in the store and you found the shoe. No one's going to sneaker stores just looking at them anymore. People are going to sneaker stores going, yo, are you releasing the such and such early? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo, you releasing those bread ones early? How much you want for them early? So instead of, 
hundred, uh, $180 sneaker, they're selling them for 300 because you want them early. So the kids are kind of killing themselves when it comes to money because they're going in stores just to have them early. Here's the deal. What you want them early for? So you could take a picture and have them before everybody else on the net, on the gram. You took a picture for everybody on the gram, now you got your picture up, and now you're scared to wear them. What was the point? <laughs> what was the point? So you could have just waited. You could have paid the regular price for them. Then what happens if there's too many pairs made and you were like, you wanted them early, you paid three, 360 or 350 for them, and then two weeks later, they're at the, they're still in the shops because there's so many made. Like, how do you feel about the fact that you just wanted them early? Their shoes, they're, gonna, they're coming all out. There. They're all coming out on the same day. Wait. If you wait, you know. Yeah, I mean, I remember one of our big clips of Sneaker Watch was, you know, we had interviewed Mayor at his house. What do you think is the most valuable pair of shoes in your collection? To me personally or valuable? No, on the market. 25000 right there. 25000 And look where I have it, just laying there. And I wear this shit all the time. See that? 25000 you take that, you do that to that. It means nothing, it's a goddamn shit. Like, you, everybody knows Mayor's been my friend for like 30 years. Like, we go back, like, when, when I say we're the ATF crew, like, people say, yeah, that's the ATF crew because of sneakers. I'm like, no, this has been my friend since before I knew he was in the shoes. You know what I'm saying? So we're friends, friends. And we have the same thought about the shoes. It's just shoes. The thing is, they don't breathe. They can't bring you a newspaper like a dog. They can't do anything for you but get worn. So what's, what's the big deal? What did you want them for? They're sneakers. You should be wanting to wear them. Yeah, and that's the thing, man. Yeah. Like, every pair of shoes that I got, you know, and I got them because I want to wear them. You know, I have a pair of my Yeezy 750s, my Don C's. Like, what's the point? They're not trophies. They're sneakers. And here's the thing. If you keep them on your shelf for too long, they're going to fall apart when you do decide to wear them. So it's like, why not wear them when you get them? What were you so hyped to get them for so that you could hold them to maybe trade for something else one day? How about forget that and go for the sneaker you really want when you want it? Instead of holding a sneaker that might not have the value of the sneaker that you're trying to trade for and never getting a trade and now the sneaker's on your shelf rotting or you're trying to eBay it and, you know, that's when the whackness happens. <laughs> so you're looking at definitely maybe over $100,000 worth of product. I mean, compared to the amount of Yeezys that there's in stock, probably closer to a million. After it's all calculated on the website, there's a little over a million. What is the one Jordan model that more people ask for than anything else? One, and f one, three, and four. One, three, and four. And then six. And the six? Okay. What about the colorway? Like if you, if you, like if original, you original colorways is the the one to go. 